the war on Ukraine is an illegal war of aggression although there is a much stronger justification for it than say the Iraq war in my opinion it does not meet the moral um, or legal justification for a war that would be based upon say self-defense Russia are going to try and claim that it's self-defense but in my opinion what's happening um, although it, it's massively caused unfortunately by NATO's expansion totally immoral expansion into Eastern Europe breaching agreements with Gorbachev uh, in the 80s and 90s they've continued to expand past East Germany they've gone you know half of, of, of Europe now is basically in in NATO all around Russia's borders there's military bases and military support is being given by NATO to those states including even though Ukraine is not in NATO people it's believed that basically the Ukraine government is essentially acting as a puppet of NATO and in um, Don, you know, in, in, in eastern Ukraine, in the, in the Donbass and in uh, Lugansk, where they have ethnic, a high concentration of ethnic Russians that live there, 8 million people in Russia, in Ukraine, are Russians or considered ethnically Russians. In the very eastern regions, uh, they, they comprise the largest minority. Now, since 2014, there has been uh, an armed conflict um, between the Ukrainian government and separatist forces in pro-Russian forces in um, in Ukraine. Fourteen thousand people have lost their lives over this conflict. NATO have breached. Well, both sides have breached the Minsk agree uh, the Minsk agreements that were made around uh, eight years ago in 2014 and 2015. Mix one and mix two. Ultimately, I still do not believe that this that this uh, meets the justification. You know, tr his Putin's claim that he's trying to protect ethnic Russians in those areas that have been killed for the past eight years, and it's true that has happened. But I don't accept that a, that a, a war of aggression that will lose far more lives potentially. Is, is the answer to this. It has to be a diplomatic solution. Invading the sovereign territory of another state is, a, is illegal under international law. Now, the United States has breached international law probably far more than Russia in the second half of the 20th century and in the, 20th, in the 21st century. But, you know, it, 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 both superpowers unfortunately don't care about the law. Now, I think that NATO and America's imperialism is the number one threat to peace in this world. It's grotesque militarism of the globe in its pursuit of the elite interests to control the oil, to control the resources of the world, etc. is an absolute disgrace and is going to push us closer to global thermonuclear war. Now, Russia is also not an oil painting obviously but it is not as aggressive as the United States has been at least not in my lifetime and fundamentally fundamentally even though, even though there's a much higher justification for what Putin's doing in in Ukraine than there ever was in in um, Iraq for America ultimately I d don't accept that it meets the justification for war which would be self-defense in an imminent attack so if there was obvious clear signs intelligence that they were going to be attacked by a sub by a foreign entity a foreign state then they could um to you know attack an air base or something to, to prevent that attack they could legally do that if if it met the justification but I, the, I, what's happened now is 
essentially it possibly is to defend those ethnic Russians in those areas but it's also to a, a land grab it is also a land grab to take back those areas and, and at least give Putin uh, give the Russian government further control over parts of Ukraine now he, he they may be thinking that not only because they may feel as though Ukraine is historically part of Russia which I'm sure some of them do and they feel like that territory is rightfully Russian but also they probably do it because they don't want NATO to become they, they, they don't want NATO to uh, formally uh, be a part of Ukraine on its doorstep and, and militarize Ukraine as a, as a just like um, America wouldn't want Ukraine sticking arms and military bases and military support to Canada or Mexico it wouldn't want that would it on its doorstep and yet where NATO has been encircling with e in Eastern Europe it's been encircling Russia for the past you know since its existence it's increased and increased since the 80s it's gone from you know from East Germany Poland Lithuania coming down and to, to Romania and all the other countries that are that are joining NATO um, and fundamentally you know these this breached prior agreements it's a hot to, as far as Russia is concerned it's a hostile military organization to its interests so of course it's going to be bothered if Ukraine is if essentially being controlled by NATO so fundamentally there's probably a multi pronged reason why he's invading not just to I don't accept it's just to protect ethnic Russians to, to prevent a genocide although I do accept that thousands of ethnic Russians have, have been killed in, in eastern Ukraine and it's a disgrace but a diplomatic solution is the answer and, and a war of aggression in my opinion does not I, I believe this would be considered a war of aggression I don't accept it meets the standard for self-defense this is an illegal war and this must end and the sanctions won't do jack crap I don't think it has to be a political a, a, a diplomatic solution to the conflict but make no doubt about it that NATO's expansion into Eastern Europe has played a major role in this in bringing this about and it is an absolute disgrace what we really need what we really need is NATO to get to put to be disbanded but to get the hell out of Eastern Europe completely for there to be an autonomous region in in Ukraine where the ethnic Russians uh, or whatever can be, be separate from Ukraine to some degree to have a much greater autonomy I'm not saying it should join the, the, the Russian state. I'm saying it should be a different, it should have more political, like a federal arrangement, essentially. And, you know, and, 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 and fundamentally, this is the only thing that, that is going to resolve the whole conflict. Now, it seems as though now that Russia, Russia's took out all of the air defences and is going full on to Kiev and who knows what's going to happen we don't want global thermonuclear war and I'm not saying that's what's going to happen but fundamentally this is the biggest armed conflict since since Serbia it really is the, oh, oh, well in, in Europe in Europe sorry um, and it's it is frightening and it's crazy how this is happening and but imperialists anti-imperialists have to be against all forms of imperialism and we have to be honest and say that this is not just self-defense this this is a land grab by putin by russian the russian government and it's wrong